F that's though that I don't want to experiment with the small, tricky stupidness of the AI commands in the middle of a match against one of the eight phases. I don't want to have to worry about things. Like my attacking the other one, Black Rose then decides to run over and melee the physical tolerant one, so I would have to set them to Wonder Battle. But then maybe if Black Rose dies, she'll go over and just attack whoever's closest, which may be the magic tolerant one. I don't want to have to worry about that. I want to point I want to point her at an enemy, and we all kill it. And I'm running. Okay, at least Wise Man caught off his spell first. That's that was uh, kind of nice there. And you know what? I'm kind of getting tired of being cursed. Where's my cure curse? I could use more attack skills against these stupid things, but as much as they move around, as many attacks as they do, you have to do a short one and kind of pray they're going to stand still long enough for it to hit more than once. Otherwise, it's kind of a waste of SP. And Wise Man can't cure that either. Piece of crap. Come on! Let me move! Let me move! Aha! I run back and continue stabbing you! Come back here... Aha! I stabbed you once. Okay, that wasn't so bad, that wasn't so bad. A ball ref will take care of that, that wasn't so bad. No, I'm using Saber Dance because it's relatively clo- it's uh, relatively short. Tiger Claws won't do as much damage, but it's an area one. I wonder if I hit them both with that. I'm gonna try that. Nice! That's why I don't like using skills. Tiger Claws! Aha! I did hit both of them. That's kind of nifty. I like that. And now I'm running again, because he's going to do a stupid attack again. Certainly, in this situation, Staccato would be all but useless as long as that animation is. Each hit does very little damage. So I hit him maybe just a couple times for very little damage. Which one of these is Charm? Charm on Black Rose. I can do this all day long! They do- I said, all, I said it once already, but they share a life bar. If you can hit either of them, it takes away from their one total life bar. means Tiger Claws works nicely because I actually hit both of them with it! Now come back here and quit running away! Yeah, you piece of crap! Ugh. That's why I don't like using skills and magic and whatnot. Just wasted a spell and an attack skill. And there goes Wise Man. I can keep this up as long as you can. And I'm running. Actually, I can't keep this up as long as you can. I'm using a lot of items, which means I can't fight indefinitely. That's why I don't like using items. I like having items to fall back on when I really need them. If I'm using them as an active strategy, then there's no way- Ah ha ha! Gore down! Take that, you piece of crap!
appears to have gone well. An investigation will still be needed, but I guess you've succeeded for now. Let us rejoice at our triumph. Kazu... Hold on, we're nearly there. Theta server. Detecting fluctuation of massive data. The immensity. There's a possibility that it's the cursed wave itself. It's moving. It's running. This marks the beginning of the counterattack. Counterattack? No. We have just realized the true rule of the game. Harold created. a solid force between Kite, Leos, and Helba, we actually stand a chance now. Next game is the the next game in the original series is the last game. Dot Hack Quarantine. And it's in that game that the epic starts ramping up. As usual, there's still a number of things I can take care of in the game. I'll take care of those in bonus videos after the fact. I'll be making those next. After beating the game, it lets you save your game completion data. So when you boot up Quarantine, you can import that data and start off right where you left off in this one. I'll be doing that come the end of the end credits. Next time, we'll take care of some of the bonuses in Outbreak. And the time after, we begin Dot Hack Quarantine, the finale of the original Dot Hack game series. Until next time, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.